Splitting layers is another editing choice that you might want to consider. It gives you the ability to create some really cool effects. So you can do quick cuts, you can do music videos, and you can do very intense action sequences by simply using just a few pieces of footage and simply splitting the layers and then rearranging the order. I'll go ahead and demonstrate this. Now as you can see, on this first layer we have Everest, and on the layer underneath we have Hannibal. So what we could do here by splitting the layers at the right time is we can show the relationship between those two layers. Let's make believe as I scrub this that Everest is digging in the floor and right about here she uncovers Hannibal staring at her. So what I'm going to do is click on the layer that she's on. I'll go to edit split layer. Now you'll notice that the layer is cut right there okay and it still plays back smoothly. When you split a layer, you will not receive a gap at all, so it will play completely through with no problem. Now I'm going to go over here, when she starts to look back up, and I'm going to split this layer again right here. Edit, Split Layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece here and move it out of the way, like so, just to give you an example of what's going to happen. So I'll go ahead and hit Home on a keyboard to go back to the first frame, and I'll manually drag the current time indicator to show you what this does. So as you can see by splitting the layer we're able to have control over what parts of the footage we want to move or delete or simply hide with the uh, eyeball here and then we can go ahead and reveal things underneath it. Likewise we can rearrange footage as well. So I can go over here and I can split the footage and I can go over here and I can split the footage and wherever I want to and I can take these parts and I can move them around like so to get the cuts and the shots that I want to show when I want to show them. It's a really cool way of working. Now of course the drawback is unlike the slip editing we are actually cutting the footage. Now of course we're not really cutting the footage. Your QuickTime movie is safe no matter what you're doing. In After Effects all the edits you do are non-destructive because we're only adding effects or appearances to our footage. So in reality we're not really cutting anything. But you'll also notice that you're going to have to come back here and clean some of this up later on so that you can rename these layers so they make sense to you. So once again this is just another great alternative when you want to find a staccato kind of feeling to your, your footage. So you can quickly get different shots and you can go back and forth between footage on one layer and a layer beneath it and so on by using this technique. Once again, edit, split layer, and one more little shortcut I want to show you before I end this lesson, and I'll undo a couple of times, is that you don't have to do one layer at a time. I can click on one layer, I can hold the shift key to grab two layers, and I can split those as well. So I can do two layers at a time, and then I can simply rearrange these at my leisure. I can take this part of footage I'll put over here, and I can take this over here, and so on. So you can really be creative with this and control precisely the playback of your footage.